Hello and welcome everybody. Death's Crowbar here with you today. Today's been rough. Um, I think it's been four years since I last made a video. Four years pretty close to now. Um, th that, that's crazy crazy that it's been almost four years since everything happened. So, I have a couple things I need to say first before I go and try and, sorry about this guys, before I go and try and catch anyone up who doesn't know about my life and whatnot. Um... So to start with, to all of my friends, to all the people I've known, to all the people I've hurt, I'm truly sorry. I've screwed up over the last couple of years. I've screwed up a lot over the years, honestly. Um, but you know, through pain and through messing up and getting things wrong, eventually we learn. So that's good. Um, I've got no script to this. I've got no idea, honestly, what I'm even... This might not even make it to YouTube, but it, it might. Um, but I'm, I'm sorry. Um, many of you know who you are. Um, there are people I've loved and hurt but I didn't know what to do at the time. And some of the things I thought, I, I thought I'd hurt them more if I tried to, tried to continue with what I thought they wanted. And I know I, I could be wrong, but at the time it's, it's what seemed the right thing to do. That might sound like a bunch of crap to some people, but, you know, we all figure out life in our own time. So those of you who know me from SAU, and I've heard, I'm sorry. I, am. I, I haven't been the best person. And I'm looking to fix that, all of it. But it takes time, and it takes effort, and it takes me fixing my problems. And I'm hoping that some of you for, will forgive me, but I know you don't have to. Um, nobody has to. I'm still going to apologize, nevertheless. Then to those who may see this, um, from the actions of tonight and whatnot, you, you know who you are, and I'm sorry for any pain I've caused you over the last two or three years, um, four years for some of you. I'm going to try and be better. But that doesn't happen without work and time, like I've said. So, And I know I've said that before. But sometimes it takes a lot to change. And I know I'm not looking at the camera a lot. I know I'm looking down. And some of that's introspective and some of it's... Some of it's because I know I don't deserve to look some of you in the eyes. Because I've hurt you. To those of you who are just my regular viewers, let me catch you up on life. I mean, I guess you're not so regular a viewer now, but still. So, started going to SAU at 20. 
helped found a gaming club on campus, made a ton of friends, um, played a bunch of D&D. &D. Uh, first year was difficult towards the end, but we got through it. Um, had another scare, kind of. Um, some nosebleeds that were pretty rough. But I dealt with them, you know, just like we all do. And uh, ended up being five years out clean from cancer, which was amazing. Um, over that next summer, went on some cruises with my dad and my brother and had some got to live by myself for a while which was interesting but difficult and uh i caught th there were some issues with that emotional issues and other issues uh i got to go see blizzard headquarters um that summer i my, my good friend salso invited me to come down and hang out so I, I came to California, took, drove the entire way in two days with one of my best friends. And she and I had a great time hanging out in California and seeing Blizzard HQ. And that was definitely one of the best two weeks I've had in a long time. Um, next year came up, things were kind of difficult, let's see, that was kind of my junior-ish year, so yeah, um, and I can't remember whether it was that one or the one after, Th things kind of start to run together, I think, I think I was still on campus that year, yeah, yeah, I was, um, that year we ended up, uh, going to PAX and having some fun at there and I hurt some people there and I, I don't even know all the ways but I did and that's my fault then <sighs> I think it was that summer I uh, that next summer I moved in here where I currently live uh, with a roommate who was not the best and didn't pay rent on time all the time then had another roommate who was one of my friends who uh, moved out eventually and uh, my current and soon to be former roommates uh, I've been living with for a long time now and I've really enjoyed our time together um, See, last year I uh, graduated SAU, or shoot, yeah, last year I graduated SAU in uh, uh, almost a little over a year ago, and then uh, went straight into grad school, and uh, I'm in grad school right now for public administration, which is fun. I haven't streamed a lot, I haven't made a lot of videos, obviously. And I miss it. But I was really enjoying my time with my friends and my roommates. And a lot of the times in the evening where used to I would stream or make a video or something. Instead I, I hung out with people and had fun. I had a lot of fun. And I wouldn't trade that for the world. Honestly. Um... I've strayed a little from the path's righteousness, but I find my way back, not without help, that's for sure. Um, I've had some issues with the faith, but other areas have strengthened in it. Um, my church fell apart was really hard it's immensely difficult and 
and I wasn't sure what to do about that. I still haven't found a place I really, really want to call a church home right now, and that's hard. Because I am still of the faith, and I do still proclaim that Christ is King and Creator. I'll proclaim it here gladly. You can call me whatever you want about it. But I'll hold to my belief. <sighs> I've tried to find people to date or in court and things like that, but nothing's really worked out. But I've got some great friends right now. Um, some older than me, some younger than me, and uh, it looks like my brother's going to be coming to SAU next year, which will be amazing. If, uh, if we're both here, it'll be nice. Um, my younger brother Noah graduated, and I'm really proud of him. Um, I know things haven't quite gone the way he's wanted, and I know he's not very accepting of me right now, and that despite our issues, I still care about him a lot and love him. The same goes for my sister Mariah, who is going to the same school he was. But I'm proud of them both. Immensely proud. Despite the fact that they don't really talk to me much, or sometimes I feel they don't care. Um, and then I, uh, I've been dealing with COVID, just like everybody else. Um, checking the time uh, it's been stressful it's been difficult difficult on me difficult on my roommates um, I haven't been able to work and getting out of routine has been rough I'm still taking classes and uh, trying to get through research methods which isn't my favorite class but We won't say anything bad about it. Um, it. It definitely has been teaching me. I definitely have favorite classes, and just because uh, this isn't one of them, that doesn't mean it's a bad course or anything like that. So don't take it for that. Uh, I think SIU has a lot of stuff together when it comes to degree programs. Um, but. I think I'll really enjoy the next summer class I've got, which is about nonprofits. I enjoyed last summer's nonprofit uh, pro degree course I, I had. Um, I really enjoy reading about it, them and learning how to work with nonprofits. I I would love to work for Extra Life or Child's Play someday, um, especially with how much they've helped me in life. But, unfortunately, some things aren't going as well. <sighs> My roommates are moving out, which is disappointing. Not happy about it. But it was an eventuality. It, it was going to come, and I, I knew that. And I respect their choices and their decisions and hope I can do whatever I can to ease their transition and they'll do whatever they can to ease mine. I'm going to be needing to find new roommates and change my situation up a little, which won't be the easiest, but uh, hopefully won't be too terribly difficult. Um, 
Do I absolutely love where I am in life right now? No. It could be better, for sure. I could... I'd really enjoy having a dog. And, uh... I'd enjoy having more closer relationships with my friends and my family and potentially somebody else who's special. Sick. Uh, I'm getting some messages from somebody through a uh, private app. Anyway, um, yeah, uh, maybe I'll make some more videos soon. Um, I've, I own a 3D printer now. I love to 3D print. I know there's going to be a lot of background noise in this video, and I'm sorry about that, but uh, I'm not stopping my AC tonight for this. I might later. I do more videos, more streams, but I kind of love my AC, so. B but once again, to everyone who I have hurt, everyone who have caused pain, I sincerely apologize. Okay? I'm sorry for what I've done, and you don't have to accept that doesn't have you don't have to forgive me you don't have to feel better you don't have to make things right with me but i just wanted you to know that and to my old friends who i haven't seen in a while uh clayton timothy and victoria uh, to hunter and Forrest and Matthew and anyone else who may be watching this, anyone from the old HCG stuff or my old streaming days, I'd really love to hear from you guys. And I'm sorry we've gotten out of touch. And if you're willing to chat, talk, I would love that. Maybe this will get seen, maybe it won't. Who knows? Despite all that, I love you. No matter who it is watching this, no matter what's going on, I love you. Christ loves you. I'm hoping I might be able to do some of his ministry. Game on, and God bless, and uh, as always, to all you nerds out there, to all you gamers, to all you geeks, keep doing what you do. This is Death Crowbar, signing out.